Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're doing the first impression video of the Adidas Crazy Train Elite. Alright guys, so I just got these shoes yesterday and I put them up on social media. I've got such a crazy response about these shoes, tons of questions that people want answered. So I thought I would just do a first impression video before I came out with a full review video on the Crazy Train Elites. So there's really not a lot of concrete information out there on the Crazy Train Elites. The Adidas Canada site doesn't really have a ton of information as far as the product description goes. Same as Roadrunner Sports. But we're going to try to clarify some of the things about the Crazy Train Elite in this video. So starting with the upper, it is kind of like a knit upper with a TPU overlay around the back. It kind of loops around for like a heel counter. There's a TPU part in the front for the toe cap area, but otherwise the upper on the Crazy Train Elites is pretty flexible and comfortable. It's definitely not like ultra knit or, or fly knit or anything, but it is definitely flexible enough for a training shoe. The laces are flat laces and they feel pretty high quality. They stay tied pretty well. There is the option to lace lock. There is a flat tongue that has kind of like padding on it on the sides and a rear pull tab like the Ultra Boost one. The outsole of the Crazy Trains is very flat and wide. It's very much like the women's version of the Crazy Power, less like the men's version because the pattern goes in and it doesn't come out like the men's does. There is a lateral guard on the outside, but there is no guard on the inside. I think this shoe is one of the best, if not the best looking training shoe. A lot of people say that it looks like the Nike Metcon 3, but I don't see it. Maybe from the lateral part, but definitely not. I think the styling of the Crazy Train is the best on the functional fitness training shoe hemisphere. When it comes down to sizing your Crazy Train Elites, I got a size nine and a half, and they fit me with a little bit of room in the toe but I don't think it warrants a half size down, so I'm gonna say that these shoes run fairly true to size. Keep in mind that I do have Morton's toe, and if you don't, then you might wanna go down half in size. Now the answer to the question that everybody's dying to know, are these acceptable training shoes? And the answer is a resounding yes. Though the Crazy Train Elites definitely do have a full length boost midsole, it is much more rigid than the one that you're gonna find on the Ultra Boosts, NMDs, or Pure Boost. This is a way more rigid boost platform, the most that I've ever seen on a boost shoe. When you first put your foot into the Crazy Trains, you're gonna notice there's gonna be a little bit of pushback that energy return that boost has. But when you start moving around, you're gonna notice that these are very stable feeling shoes. In my opinion, it has just enough cushioning in there to be comfortable for things like repeated box jumps, burpees, any kind of plyometric movement. Running is still not that great. I ran a mile just to test these shoes out yesterday and they still kind of feel a little bit clunky, but they are plenty, plenty stable to do any kind of lifting in. I hit some heavy single clean and jerks today in the Crazy Trains and never once did I feel like these shoes were unstable at all. The best way that I can describe using these shoes is that they are extremely responsive training shoes. When it comes to the heel toe drop of the Crazy Trains, I don't actually know, but it feels somewhere in the range of three or four, maybe even six, but they're still plenty flat. I think the worst part about these shoes is definitely going to be the weight. I weighed them at just over 13 ounces, which is pretty heavy for a training shoe. Another negative thing of the Crazy Train Elites is that they retail for $140, which is $10 more than the more popular training shoes on the market, but it's only $10 and for the boost technology, I think it is worth it. My initial impressions of the Crazy Train Elites are so far so good. Once again, I've only had these shoes for one day. I've done very limited workouts in them, but I really, really like them so far. Remember guys that this is just a first impression video. The review is coming up as soon as I can get it done. 
If you guys have any questions about the Crazy Train Elites, feel free to leave them in the comment section. As always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.